Okay, so the first way that you can check what is wrong, you can go to network settings and you can press test remote play. It might take a minute or two to do uh, test your setup, but it will tell you all the problems that you have and all the things that are good. Just give it a minute to load. Okay, so some of them you may have a yellow caution, which means it's okay, but it could be improved. If you've got a red X, that means it's not working and you need to fix it. But if you've got green ticks, then it's all good. So you can see my net type is open. You can have it as moderate, but you can't have it as strict. You can change that by signing into your um, internet. So if you've got a box, if you sign into the website or whatever you use, then the settings that you can change to do that. Um, same with upstream bandwidth. And also just making sure that you've got everything um, connected. So another thing that you can do is go down to system and you go down to updates and it will see no console updates available and you can also change um, this by updating a, a console if it does say there's an update. Sometimes it will automatically update when you load on. Those are generally major updates, but these are just smaller ones. Another one that you can go is uh, go down to remote features. And you need to make sure that enable both features is on. Go down to Xbox app preferences and you can make sure that all these are on. So you can press down out Xbox app to connect. Do not tick that. Only allow profile sign into Xbox on this con you just want to press this one. On this one as well, you want to make sure that allow game streaming to other device devices is enabled, and so is allow to play to streaming. If those are all enabled, great. And you can also test remote play from here as well. Okay, so where you want to go is to devices and connections, and go to accessories. Press this here and you can test all the buttons that are working on your um, controller. So everything seems to be working. So we'll just quit this and you go down to here and you can see if you need to update any controllers so this may be the case if you have an outdated controller that needs updated you can just press update now and you can just press update now again so what will happen is it will start applying the update this may take a long time or sometimes it will go really quickly is important as there may be a problem with the controller that may not be able to help with remote play. Okay, so that is finished updating. I'll just give it a second. And your, while it was updating, your Xbox controller should have been flashing. Stop flashing now. I'm just going to press next.
once it's finished, you can just uh, double check that there's no updates, which it isn't. 